Walmart has these wood crates for $12.42. I have a really great idea in mind for one of these. Perfect. The first thing I did with this crate is mark lines at three inches in. Then from there, we cut down the top three slats on either side, creating an opening. Next, I grabbed a new stain color, and I'm gonna stain like I do all of my pieces. I'm just going to put on one coat, and then I'm gonna wipe it away with a cloth. Now, the longer you let the stain on your piece, the deeper your color is going to be. I typically immediately wipe it off. And I'm gonna stain the inside as well as the outside of this piece. I'm gonna grab these adhesive stencils for $2.97. I wanted to personalize this for Moose, so I'm measuring to see where the center line is, and then I'm gonna use these sticky stencils to spell out his name, as well as some Waverly white chalk paint. I love how these little Waverly stencils stick to your piece so they're not gonna move and they work really well and they're also reusable so I really like these. Now once that had a chance to dry I'm just gonna add in the little dog bed that I purchased for him. Push, look, look, mom's got a new bed for you. Look Mizzy, you see your new bed? Do you not like it? No. I'm loving this bowl. It's $3.24. It's plastic. They also have one for $6.24, but I'm going to pick up this $3.24 one. We need to pick up a copper finish spray paint. So I've seen a lot of high-end candles in bowls, so that's what I wanted to recreate. So I'm gonna use that copper spray paint and give it two coats of spray paint on the outside of my bowl as well as the inside. Next, I'm going to be melting down some candles that I had left over from projects I did from Dollar Tree. I also picked up some of these candle wicks off of Amazon. You can get them in a huge pack and they last forever. I'm gonna hot glue them to the bottom of the bowl. If you boil the candles, it takes about 20 minutes for them to melt down. So I'm just going to melt down the candles and carefully pour them into my bowl. Next, I'll just cut off the wicks. This is a really easy way to have a high-end candle look for inexpensive. Hey guys, I'm Liz and you're watching my second DIY channel where I post daily DIY videos. You may be familiar with my main channel, Liz Fibic DIY, but I'm glad that you found me over here on my second channel. Make sure that you're subscribed so you just get notified every day when I post our daily DIY video.